Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for spending time with me. And I'm just unboxing my second shelf of my storage unit. Sorry, I just had to put my hair up in elastic quickly. Uh, the static, bending over, lifting boxes, that sort of thing. So it's just a mishmash of everything that I have, things listed on my Etsy page, the link is in the description, Poshmark Canada. You can go and look there, sign in under, uh, if you're new to Poshmark Canada, you can sign in using my referral name, Serendipity Mel and that will give you ten dollars off. Um, I think in the back end after you buy something or whatever they might give me ten dollar credit or something but I'm not sure about that. So here we go. I have no idea why I have Christmas Carol DVD but I do. I don't have a DVD player but I th think one of my um, computers would play it. I'm not quite sure. So I have this listed on my Poshmark and they are, there is one missing and they are Christmas ornaments, brand new, still in box, but like I say, this one is missing, but I just love these colors. Aren't they gorgeous? My word. So I'm just putting the lid on that. And then I just have some of these chip bowls, probably dollar store items. I think I put them on Etsy just free if you want them, if you put in an order of so much. They are a nice look to them. There's three this size, but there's scratching and that kind of stuff on them. But I just don't have the heart to throw them out, but I will take them in and probably donate them. And then there's a lot of I'm noisy. There's a lot of people who collect these molds. So these are the copper color, two of the same. I'm not sure, is that a strawberry? So there's two of those. I just have a bigger one like this. It's the jello mold, I do believe. This would be probably three inch. And there's the inside. And then I have the exact same one, but in silver color. And they hang on the wall when not in use. You can use them. Little dusty. That's free. I always say that. So just in the comments, just say hi. Um, putting comments in helps with the algorithms of YouTube. Share my videos. Maybe not this one. It's just a bunch of mishmash, but that's okay. And uh, share it on your social media. Help get my count up. When I get to 2,000, I'm going to have a giveaway. I will be giving away a lot of little things um, people will be interested in. Uh, wax seal kit. Um, and just surprises along the way. You, I'm not going to let anybody know what, what they are, but I will have some really good ones. So here are some companion books, and they are um, like Reader's Digest, and one side of the book is Robinson Crusoe, and I have these on my Poshmark Canada. And this side is Swiss Family Robinson. There's not a, there's a few, pictures on the inside but the books are in good condition um, not very many pictures but there are some and another one is the call of the wild and then you flip it and there's black beauty Gulliver's travels and treasure island Kidnapped. I really like the picture on the front of this one. And Tom Sawyer, Detective. Here's Huckleberry Finn. The graphics are great. And then Tom Sawyer. I have one. It's Robin Hood and it's quite in rough condition. You know, separating at the scene. The Little Lame and Prince story is on the other side. Dog of Flanders is this one. Tom Sawyer is on the other side, abroad. And this Robin Hood is in better condition. 
and the little lame prince. So that's another case that we've gone through. So two so far for this video. And like I say, it's just mishmash of so many different things that I have. <clears throat> I'm just putting that case aside. I'm not going to go through this one in total. I'm just going to show you a few. I have <clears throat> eight track tapes. They're all on my Etsy page. And I usually sell them in a group of three. So just different ones. The other, um, this is Ray Price. This one is Crystal Gale, Neil Diamond, The Best of Barbara Mandarell. I just sold some the other day. Like I say, they're all on my Etsy page if you wanted to look at the titles. They're just, uh, people order them for joke gifts. And the one set that I sold were three Elvis Presley ones the other day. Oh, the books are heavy. And, um... I sent them off. So this is a case of new old stock jewelry. I believe all of them are clip-on earrings. And I just have so many different kinds. I had some on my um, live sale yesterday. And just these are shell-shaped shell with rhinestones. Um, I have multiples. I should open the box a little better. Here's some shell shape without rhinestones, but they have the navy blue. And they are clip-on, new in package. Here's some Art Deco in black and gold. Those are cool. Turn those into a few um, pins. That would be a good idea. More shell shape with rhinestones. And some red ones, big chunky ones here with a piece of my hair flying around. So like I say, I'm not going to go through this whole box, but there's a case of it. And I usually just sell them at like $8 a piece Canadian. So that's like $6.25. I have a bunch of these boxes that I ordered in bulk. They are brand new, still in the seal. So when I do mixed media art, I um, cover over them, put them in grays and silvers and golds, and just um, change them completely. So I do have extras for sale because I buy in bulk. And, I don't know, I have a dish cloth towel. I didn't even know I had it. I didn't remember. So there's that one. And I have a bunch of these. They are spice containers. Nice theme on them. And this is where you put your sticker for which kind you have. You know, paprika, whatever. So I just have a group of these. They're all the same. Another one. Another one. But I like them. Like the blues and the whites. So there's something here in a plastic bag. Oh, okay. So very kitschy here. Um, this is like Aladdin, Aladdin lamp sort of. And then you put the glass piece on top, a lantern. You can fill it. It unscrews. Um, I don't... It doesn't smell. It still has its original wick. I think it was just decor. And... Um, this came from boxes that I bought at auction. So I'll just put that in the bag. Here's a Cadbury tin, not very old. I've got probably crayons or something. Oh, well, look, my felt pens. Just a piece of sponge. I have these cases, 48 packs. I have two cases of them. Pencil crayons, real wood, smooth writing, sharpens easily. So I I like just the decor, just have them around in a vignette. So 
I have extras of these. A couple more spice jars. So that's two, four, six of them. But I see on this lid, it looks like the lid has been cracked. Like there's a chip here and then splits. That's probably why I haven't listed them because my other set I did sell. I just have this cute little baby planter. Looks to me like I got it at a second-hand store for $1.99. Just little roses all around, hearts. And it's in good condition. Isn't that cute? Still has the price tag on it from the second-hand store. So I bought a couple of these for a vignette. Just a little, little bicycle, plastic, with a bow, new, never used, but they're cute. Just a little planter. And I have this butter pad. It's quite an age. I love it, just the look of it. I used to have it in my kitchen. And like I say, it is original. It is quite an age. I'm not quite sure if I said that right. Butter churn or something. So I bought this at the thrift store. It is Cars Assorted Biscuits. It's the thrift store at the hospital um, that they do. I donate there uh, when I have extras. And it says, to the house of a friend, the road is never long. And it was assorted biscuits in it. I guess I should show it. Um, just a cute tin. It, it has the imitation of being cross-stitched or needlepoint. But it's in pretty good condition. Clean on the inside. And then in the bottom. Oh my god, you guys. I was at my dad's one time and uh, there was a case of these pieces for, uh, I believe they're three inch space, drawer pulls, vintage ones. And I bought the case. I've sold quite a few of them, but I did keep a couple around. I think there's a dozen, dozen here or something. So just the metal pieces that you can use in mixed media art, that sort of thing. So there's some more boxes, you guys. So let me know if you want me to carry on. I wouldn't know what else I could be doing for you because I'm just downsizing, just trying to clean up everything, um, getting organized. I have things I put in totes. And um, the, the next shelf is all the items that hold the salt and pepper shakers that I unboxed that I got from the vintage antique store. And then the rest of that shelf is all my sewing patterns and they're all on my Etsy page. The link is in the description. So I'm not going to worry about doing that one, but I still have um, probably three more unboxings to do to finish off this other shelf. So I'll tidy up my little area here, and I'll carry on. See you shortly, probably tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye-bye.